It's a sport that derives from the basic contest of man versus beast. One man trying to conquer one animal for eight seconds at a time. The thing about bull riders is, because at the end of the day, these guys are a little crazy. For us to be able to kick off our event here, that's an honor. It's our very first event of the year. It's where we kick it off, and there's not a better place in the world to kick it off. I'm Jess Lockwood, I'm 19 years old. I'm from southeastern Montana, and I've been doing this professionally. This is my second year, but I've been doing this ever since I could walk. I was raised in a family that rodeoed and did this for a living, so I just grew up in it. Jess Lockwood's a cowboy. Woodpecker lives as a bull. This was his dream as soon as he could, you know, talk. He'd buck on his dad's back, and as soon as he was done, he'd always say, how many was I? To come from a little town where I live and uh, am from, and to be here where everyone's in a hustle and bustle, and it's just chaos around here almost. Four hundred and ten pounds. This is probably one of the smaller bulls on our tour. These four guys, along with thirty-one of the other best bull riders in the world, are going to hit this place on fire to kick off our 2017 season. I started riding bulls when I was thirteen, and by the time I was probably around sixteen, I knew it was something that I could do for a living and make a living at it. So. Uh, you know, I got my pro card when I was 18 and gone from there. Well, I started watching the PBR whenever I was three, uh, four years old on TNN and just fell in love with it. And, you know, I would do everything they'd done on TV, you know, the old, the greats, you know, that was around at that time. You know, um, I mimicked it right there in the, in, the, in the living room. My dad, he'd get down on the floor in the house and I'd get on his back and wrap a belt around his chest and ride and, you know, he wore him out, he said. What are you doing? It's rousing it when it gets hot, it gets sticky. So just rub it on the rope here. So what does that do for you? Keeps your hand from popping out of your rope. In theory. In theory. In theory, you're right. Doesn't always work. I broke six ribs, punctured and collapsed the lung, uh, torn MCL, torn meniscus, uh, broken riding hand, torn ligaments, and uh, concussions. You know this is a dangerous sport. He knows this is a dangerous sport. Everybody that knows bull riding knows it. it's not if it happens, it's just when. And you just hope it's something that they can overcome. Father, tonight, selfishly, we'll ask for your hand of safety over each and every one of our competitors, our animal athletes, our bullfighters, and even the fans that gather around this arena. We'll ask all these things in the name of the Lord. Amen. What have you done for fun? Uh, why you been a man? Fun? I, I just landed in LaGuardia about two hours ago. I barely made the bull riding. Uh, with all the you know the interviews and lines and all that stuff, I try not to let it bother me. I just I just stay focused and forget about it. Just uh, another bull, another bull riding. What goes through your mind when that gate opens after you've nodded your head? Hang on, don't let go. Give it all you got. It's just eight seconds. Keep it simple. Bull riding 
really is pretty basic. It starts with staying on for eight seconds. Once a cowboy attains that, the score comes half from the cowboy and half from the bull itself. So you'll sometimes see a re-ride or a re-ride flag is given, and that's because the bull actually didn't perform as well as he should have. So they never want to have a cowboy penalized because the bull wasn't good. And then the other thing is, is if a bull does its job as well, the more it spins, the faster it spins, the more it gets in the air, and the more vertical it actually can get with its body, that all adds to the bull score. Winner of this event gets a minimum of 115000 That's not counting the round wins you can uh, get. Yeah, the money in the PBR is insane, and it's pretty special to be able to ride on this tour. You had crazy day. Yeah, it's been busy, but heck, I've had enough time to sit and relax in the hotel room, take a nap before, just calm down, wind down. You got a job to do when you show up, and that's to ride your bulls, so you just kind of take whatever comes with it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the arena the best bull riders on the face of the planet. smile that just made its way to the top of the leaderboard. How about 87 and three quarter points? Lockwood split number one so far in New York City. He is going to be rewarded for this second night in a row tie. The bull goes away from his hand and makes it very difficult. Yes, I saw your uh, your last on the uh, agenda tonight. Like, yeah. How does that how does that make that make you feel? You have to wait for so long. You know, I I kind of like being last. Really, uh, I get to watch everyone, and when I watch all my buddies go and everyone else, it pumps me up. Kind of just watching everyone ride gets my blood flowing. Definitely got squirrely in the last second and a half. Well, Longwood's a little different than most 19-year-old kids that you're dealing with when you talk about bull riding. But he's got to improve on this. He's not finishing these bulls the way he's supposed to. He's a tough and a gritty little guy, so he grits it out. But he's taking abuse that he doesn't need to.
weekend ever. We were supposed to not be here and Jess just said, please don't change anything, let's get a ticket. So at 11.30, 12 o'clock last night, we bought tickets to stay one more day. So. Glad you stayed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes.